And ricin is a, uh, a toxic substance that's produced by the castor bean plants, found in the ca castor beans. Um, and it is a, a substance that um, when you take it orally, uh, and inject it or inhale it, um, can be quite deadly. It basically um, prevents your cells from making proteins. So it kind of turns everything off that we need to, to kind of live. When you eat rice and you have to take a lot of it to get really sick. But that's not the case if you uh, <coughs> get it injected or if you inhale it. And that's obviously what these, <coughs> whoever did this was trying to do because they made a, a powdered form of this, I think with the, with, with the goal of, of aerosolizing it so you, should, you inhale it and, and those, that, that would be or could be quite deadly. It's a cellular poison. It turns off your cell, your, your, your fundamental cell function. So you would begin to see immediate organ dysfunction pneumonitis, you'd have trouble breathing, uh, GI distress, you'd have you know, nausea, vomiting, blood from there, uh, hepatic disease, your liver would start to, to dysfunction, uh, and you'd die. It actually would look very similar to being uh, you know, poisoned by radiation or a chemotherapeutic, and you know, these other powerful substances that basically kill cells, and that's what ricin, ricin would do. Um, and uh, and there's, no, there's no cure, there's no antidote. Uh, so that's that worries a lot of people, and rightfully so, that uh, that takes a very, very small amount. You get it through the right way, like I said, inhaling it or getting injected, and there's really nothing anyone can do. Uh, you can try and support them through it, but uh, um, like I said, it doesn't take very much to kill, to kill a person. Castor bean plants, you, you want to keep away from children and, doll, and pets and whatnot, and I think most people understand that who grow it. A lot of people grow it ornamentally, so it's all over the place. It's found worldwide. Um, I just don't think I would make a habit of eating castor beans. Um, though, like I said, eating castor beans, we know that to get the to, to get really really sick from eating castor beans, you got to eat a lot and uh, a lot a lot. I mean, uh, there really haven't been any cases of people dying from castor bean ingestions. They do get sick, but they don't die because, like I said, it takes a lot. Um, it's when the ricin is taken out of the castor bean and purified and made very concentrated and injected or inhaled that it becomes a real big threat.